Okay, so I got to talking to a friend of mine over the paint counter at work the other day, and he says that he has this kind of berm guarding his pond, and apparently there are some catfish in here that are uh, burrowing into this berm, and they're causing some erosion, and there's been a lot of water coming through the bottom of this, so we're going to see if we can't nail a couple of them. We're going to go for some bluegill first with the worms, and uh, I've got a big old hunk of bologna. I was just telling Josh, uh, it is really cold, but the biggest blue cat I ever caught out of a pond was this time of year with bologna. This is the only way I know to get the bologna to stay on the hook without going completely to pieces. Probably just spin this above my head and <laughs> go ahead. What are you gonna do, baby? <laughs> just doing a square knot with this, guys. I'm not trying to impress anybody. I seriously doubt I'll use this particular piece of line again after today. I'll just take the sinker and the hook off of it. Mm -hmm. Tastes like bologna. Mm. The fingers are greasy. It's focusing pretty well on it. Dang. Nice. Sweet tits. Right? I, this is totally. I don't normally fish like this. <laughs> I just really wanted a third hook in the water. And we only have two people. And this one will be fishing the whole time we are. Oh, that was a good one. Hmm. You need a bobber for your pole, babe. I know. Uh, I don't think we have one, though. I packed them. Yeah, uh, we don't have one, I'm sorry. Hold on. What? No, you're not. Bobber. Okay. <laughs> Probably double tie it. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Alright, let's warm it. That's the best way to do it, baby. Multiple balls. Ball of worm. She floats! It is kind of chilly. There's ice on the water. There's ice on the ground. I got two coats on. Really nice view though. And what in the fuck is she doing? What the heck? Cheese and rice. Oh shit. <laughs> I could say it's chilly. Got that firewood, man. There's a lot of firewood over there. <laughs> I wish we could build a fire. We could do a fire. Yeah? Yeah. Cook some chili. Babe. 
it has been four hours with not a single fish on bank, so we're gonna go home. And cook some chili. All right, we're good. Uh, we do have to settle things with the X. What? The there, right there. Okay. We gotta, we gotta settle it. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know if you Moose wants it, come on. Right, Moose? Bushes, right? Beans. Best beans ever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I did talk to Bill today. Yeah? I did. He's gonna be in Alaska in May and again in August. Yeah. I think August is gonna be our best shot. Alaska's amazing. Moose, you wanna go to Alaska? Yeah. Can you fly on a plane? So we've been talking with my friend Bill and we think that in August we're probably going to go up to Alaska for some salmon fishing. Mm. I've been living vicariously through him as he makes his move to Alaska. He's trying to go completely off grid. He makes the long trip from Texas, if you can believe that, with mm. five dogs. Aww. But if you do get a hanker in for some serious outdoor smoking and jerky, check out my friend Bill at The Lone Moose on YouTube. Mm. Seriously. <laughs> mm -hmm. She knows. She knows. She knows a good thing.
bowls there. We completely exhausted our lawn of our fire with, and we ventured into our neighbor's lawn so we could make this chili. We had to go pay back the paper.